next a whole person approach to treating cancer. Meet a best-selling author and doctor who is helping people get the care they need. Welcome back to The Morning Blend. With a model that centers around the patient, Cancer Treatment Centers of America have been offering both traditional and new methods of care for over 20 years. With a network of programs and hospitals in five states, including Arizona, you can experience what they offer and get the quality help that you need. Here with more is surgical oncologist at Cancer Treatment Centers of America and author of the best-selling book, A Cancer Treatment Guide for the Human Race, Dr. Robert Washer. Good morning to you Thank and you. welcome. It's great to be here. Thank you. How big of a health problem is cancer today? It's a huge problem. Uh, in 2002, an estimated one and a half million Americans will be newly diagnosed with cancer. And sadly, nearly 600,000 Americans will die of the disease this year. Wow. There are nearly 12 million cancer survivors among us. And most of us will be touched at some time in our lives by this disease, either if we become cancer patients ourselves or we're close to someone who is. When we're talking about cancer, what types of cancer are, are you dealing with here? Uh, well, 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 cancer, the term cancer is actually a, a, a term that describes up to 150 distinct biologically different diseases. So mm -hmm. there are lots of different types of cancer, uh, and, and we deal with a, a large number of those cancers, uh, and I think we're going to talk a little bit about yeah. some of those cancers no specifically. Question. Uh, you hear about new treatments for, for cancer all the time, and I know many of the treatments are available at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Are we getting closer to beating this thing? I, I, w I would say that we're making gradual but sustained progress yeah. year after year. If you look at the latest uh, survival figures uh, for patients that are uh, diagnosed currently with cancer, and that, this includes all cancers, all types, about two-thirds of those patients can expect to be alive and cancer-free five years after their diagnosis. That's excellent. And, and that's a record, uh, a high level of survival. There's there's clearly, clearly much more we need to do, and there are some cancers that are, are still real bad actor cancers that, yeah. that we're always looking for better treatments for. And besides being a, a surgical oncologist here, you also wrote a book, a mm -hmm. book called A Cancer Treatment Guide for the Human Race. Tell us about what you talk yes. about in this book. Well, you, we talked a little bit about where we are with cancer survival and, and, and our improving treatments, but a lot of people don't realize that if you look at the large body of research that's being done looking at how our lifestyle and diet and other, uh, other behaviors uh, affect our risk of cancer, by even very conservative estimates, about 40 to 50 percent of all cancer cases are likely very strongly linked to those behaviors that we, that we all do too much, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not talking about minor cancers, easily cured cancers, and some people think that that's what we're talking about. We're actually talking about the, the greatest uh, cancer killers that, that face our society uh, and, and which are linked to, uh, uh, linked to these behaviors. Lung cancer, the number one cause of cancer death, mm -hmm. getting back to your earlier question, uh, number one cause of cancer death for both men and women in this country half a century after we knew for a fact that it caused more than 90 percent of all or smoking caused more than 90 percent of all uh, lung cancers wow. uh, the most common cancer in women uh, other than skin cancer the number two cause of cancer death in women breast cancer that cancer has the largest number of known risk factors related to behavior and diet and, and medicines and other things we can change we can make a huge impact on breast cancer incidence and death by changing the way we live or what i call in the book a, a uh, uh, evidence-based uh, cancer prevention lifestyle and i'll just name two others real quickly because we could do this all day long mm -hmm. go, go right down the list the number three cause of cancer death again both men and women colon and rectal cancer another cancer that's linked to lifestyle and, and diet related behaviors and a cancer quite frankly that we can often uh, detect before uh, before it causes the patient any harm with colonoscopy uh, removing cancerous pol or precancerous polyps rather before they have a chance to turn into cancer and then the last one that I'll, I'll mention is is the number four cause of cancer death and it's a horrible dismal cancer pancreatic cancer uh, only six to eight percent of people will survive that cancer. Wow. It's very resistant to treatments, but yet, ironically, again, this is a cancer that's strongly linked to what we eat, uh, what we do in our daily lives. Uh, obesity, uh, diabetes, tobacco, again, yeah. uh, a common cause of cancer, and uh, things we eat, meat-rich diets, strongly linked to that cancer, which we cannot really cure in most cases. Yeah. I, I know that Cancer Treatment Centers of America, you offer, it's not just treating the cancer, it's treating the whole person. Absolutely. Explain this model of care. I will. You know, uh, unfortunately, cancer care in, in many communities is very fragmented. Patients yeah. are sent from one doctor to another. Mm -hmm. uh, they go to another place to get tests done, and they're already struggling with the with their diagnosis. And that's not the way we take care of patients at, at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. We believe in whole patient care. The patient is not 
a tumor is not a diagnosis. A person who has a cancer or a tumor and often many other medical problems as well that need to be dealt with on a holistic level. And so we have patient care teams composed of multiple cancer experts that come to the patient, people like myself, surgical oncologists, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, uh, mind-body uh, nutritionists, uh, physical therapy, pain management people, uh, naturopathic uh, physicians. All of that team surrounds the patient uh, and deals with the patient as an individual with cancer and other health problems. That's so the difference. The patient's the center of attention rather than the other way Absolutely around. and completely. And we see many patients that come from other places that had that fragmented care, and I can't begin to tell you how grateful and how supported and how, how much better they feel getting that level of care. Excellent. Dr. Washer, thank you so much for joining us. My we pleasure. appreciate it. Thank you so thank much. You. All right, if you need answers and help, get the comprehensive patient-centered treatment experience with Cancer Treatment Centers of America. They have a location in Arizona, which is just a short drive from Las Vegas. For more information, call the number or check out the website right there on your screen. We'll be right back with Manny's Review.